Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day with Steve Hughes and Primatic Works. I'm happy to have you join us today. Today we're talking about uh, Azure Databricks a little bit, and I want to start out uh, on a couple of these sessions. And one of the first ones I want to do is talk to you about the uh, the fact that Databricks is both easy and it's also fast. So let's start with fast. So when you talk about something that's fast, it, it could be a number of different things we're talking about. But because Azure Databricks and Databricks itself is built on Spark, and Spark is an in-memory solution with Hadoop, making it a much faster operation to work with. Now, as we move forward into that and look at that, the Databricks team is there. Uh, they built Spark, and they're one of the key contributors to that uh, open source project. And as a result, they're able to be able to um, optimize that platform for us and make it so we can use it. Now, as we look at a little further into that, um, that speed becomes a really necessary thing for us and allows us to actually take advantage of Hadoop at scale and do some great work there. I also want to talk about it being easy. So, you know, how, how is it easy? Well, Azure Databricks brings a number of things to bear to help you out. So first of all, it's easy from the perspective of it's easy to do cluster management. If we look at cluster management as a whole, typically one of the hardest things about any Hadoop environment is setting up the cluster. You can do this in a variety of the clouds, you can do this on premise, but you have to make decisions about how to build a cluster and put it together. No matter which distribution you use and no matter how much help you have, it has issues around that. So as we start to look at that and we move forward on it, we actually are looking at the opportunity to um, you know, build it automatically using Azure Databricks and the power of Azure behind that is creating the cluster basically on the fly as you need it. Not only does it create it when you need it, it scales up as you need, and more importantly, for those of us who are doing a lot of testing and work in that platform, it will also shut down automatically, saving us cost in Azure and making it a much more cost-effective solution for us to use, or at least a safer one from that perspective. But it's not the only reason it's easy. That's the cluster management side of it. But what about just working it? Well, Azure Databricks supports a number of languages that we typically have used. Uh, so you might have walked in and said, you know, I'm great at Python, or I love Python, or I've done R, or something else, right? But at the end of the day, you know, it's whatever you want to use. So like Python, R, Scala, uh, SQL are all supported in the platform natively, making it so you can create a notebook native in one of those things, but you can also switch back and forth, relying on the strings you may have from cross skills within the platform. So that makes a, a huge ease of use for us. They also include, uh, you know, workspaces and a number of other things to help organize all of our work. So we can put notebooks into workspaces and we can actually take advantage of a well-organized solution, making it easier for us overall to use and manage Azure Databricks as we move forward. So as you look at what you want to do when it comes to Spark or for, for Hadoop, you should take into account that Azure Databricks makes this an easy platform for you to use, even if you're trying it out. So you can manage your costs, even if it's something you want to learn or you want to use Databricks or Azure Spark or Spark in more other ways, you're able to do so. So Azure Databricks allows you both to have a fast and easy solution to work with. We'll talk more about Databricks as it's kind of a, it's a focus for us at uh, Primatic Works for the month or for the quarter, I'm sorry. And as we look at that, um, that content, I'll talk about a few more other areas that are really compelling to use Azure Databricks in. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, here at the Detroit airport. You guys have a great day. Uh, if you have any other questions or anything else we can help with, click the link below for more information. We'd be happy to reach out. Have a great day.